What's up everyone? How's everybody doing? Patches 84 here. Tomorrow is officially New Year's Eve. And it's uh, pretty cloudy out right now. If you haven't already noticed, I am currently out hitting the trails for the first time in say a little more than a week since before Christmas and wanted to take a moment to uh, wish you guys a happy new year a little early things a lot has been happening throughout the year 2021 a lot of bullshit things between dealing with the Delta variant of the coronavirus and now the Omicron. Currently wearing my CAN95 mask for the first time in, well, I would say ever. I wanted to take a moment to uh, talk about some of the things that had gone down in 2021. We've been dealing with the pandemic, or still are. Got a new Omicron variant that has uh, just crept its way here in this country. Uh, we're in the stricter restriction phase. Uh, currently, since the 27th, I believe it's uh, level 2 restrictions. Which means you cannot have more than 10 people. A steady 10 people, to be precise. Uh, With regard to gatherings and I'm a little out of breath right now because I'm walking in snow as you can now tell so to sum it up 2021 I guess you could say sucked uh, was hoping that 2021 uh, since late last year, early this year, was going to get better. And it unfortunately, with the new variant and every everything else going on, a lot of high cases up here, uh, it just didn't go as planned. Things, things just did not go the way we'd hoped that it did. And... Unfortunately for us, we are now having to test our patients again, and this year just wasn't a good year thus far. A lot of things going on in the world, but for me personally, this year for me had a bit of a heartache, uh, aside from Patches passing away in 2019. I miss her a great deal, still to this day. Uh, still a little hurt by that. Um, but these last few months, dating as far back as April of this year, brought even more heartache. Back in April of this year, um, my family and I had lost a member of our family Muffin, who we've had since 2009, and just a few days ago, we lost Mia. Her diabetes and her seizures have been getting much worse. She had been in a lot of pain, and we had to put her down, unfortunately. Uh, we are down to one pet, uh, useless, uh, the cat. At least it's nice to know that she's still around and thriving as usual but I just won't be able to see her as much due to the fact that she's now living at my brother's place as far as useless is concerned she's happy she's healthy she's uh, better off now where she currently is versus where she once lived and uh, that's all I can say about that and honestly, I couldn't for I couldn't really ask for anything better for her. Do I plan on seeing her in the new year? Most likely. 
uh, spoke to my brother and asked him if we could celebrate New Year's Day at his place just to get my parents out of the house, out of their house anyway, so that they could just change things up for New Year's Day. And he said he was going to think about it, but there's, but there's no telling if that's going to happen this year or not. Um, been taking a bit of an extended break from uploading videos on YouTube. A lot of things have gone down. Um, some good things have happened in 2021, though. Uh, it's not all bad. Uh, at least on my end, anyway. Uh, got a brand new desk. A brand new all-in-one desktop. New hard drive for a new external hard drive for that computer. Five terabytes, to be precise. Uh, got a new microwave cart last year. Uh, towards the beginning of my term. At my previous job. And a whole bunch of other things that I probably won't name off due to the fact that there's just so many things and got a brand new kettle which is the Hamilton Beach kettle that I got yesterday and that was supposed to be my late Christmas present and uh, that particular gift was the one gift that I've always wanted ever since my parents got the new kettle and of course, my brother got one too, but I think my brother's is a different brand. Uh, same look. Um, my brother did mention that he had one, that he has one um, that has a tea infuser on his. Nice thing about the kettle is that you turn it on to get the water to boil, and it comes with the blue LED light all the way around, so you can see it all lit up and everything. Which is kind of nice. Been wanting that for quite a while, since my parents ended up getting one, and so did my brother. Uh, and I got one, I just haven't used it yet. But, I don't use it very much. Uh, been going through some of my stuff, and I've made the decision to actually get rid of some of the stuff that I've had just to maintain a little just to maintain some space at home because when you're living in a small apartment apartment like me you do want to try and maintain it my plan for 2022 it's uh should be relatively simple I don't normally make resolutions I know by this time last year, when I last did a video like this out in this trail, right before the new year hit, uh, I did make one resolution which went straight to shit. Uh, but that's part of the reason why I never make resolutions to even begin with, so whatever. I'll show you something. I don't know if this camera's picking it up. There's that little old tree. It's now turned into a little stump now. But, uh... All the way over there, that's where I came from. It's hard to believe I can walk pretty far, considering that I'm not as in shape as I used to be. But, going back to the whole New Year's resolution thing, uh, I made one resolution this time last year, the last time I did a New Year urine review video like this on this trail last year, uh, was that I was going to get into, I was going to get back into shape, try to lose some weight, if not keep the weight that I had back then. Well... That kind of resolution went straight to shit, and ever since that time, I have not been able to keep my word and try to lose as much weight as I possibly can. Uh, a lot of screaming going on out there today. 
Uh, that's what happens when you're out in the open. But, uh, but yeah, that New Year's resolution had straight up gone to shit. I haven't been exercising as much as I would have liked. And it's all thanks to the restrictions around here that we had to follow. Such as social distancing, staying at home if you have certain symptoms like the usual, if you know what I mean. Or whatever else. And when you're living in an apartment building like me, you are more likely to get infected than if you were to, if you were living in a house. And my neighbor across the hall has a two-year-old and a ten-year-old. And one of them was in school that got exposed to supposedly the Delta variant, but... It's possible that that person could be exposed to the Omicron variant as well. Now, what I've been told, and it may not be true for everybody, but but I've been hearing that the Omicron variant isn't as deadly or more serious as the Delta. It is a little bit more transmissible than with any other variant or with the regular COVID situation. But it's not as deadly and it's not as um, fatal as most. But it is more transmissible and you're more, you are really more likely to get it. Lucky for me, I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> but uh, my New Year's resolution for next year I, I've made the de I've made the decision not to make a New Year's resolution this time around due to the fact that I made one last year by this time and it let's just say it fell through due to some unexpected things but uh, I guess the biggest thing for me is to I guess try to do more outside of my home and hopefully do content like this in the future I'm I'm obviously not going to make promises I cannot keep so I do apologize in advance if I'm not uploading as many videos as I would have liked it's just I've I got a lot going on right now between going through some stuff back at home, going through stuff on my computer and everything else. I'll show you guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. Like, you can't ask for anything better than this around here. But yeah, today has been... Uh, the last, this past year alone has not been the greatest, but, but there has been some good things that happened as well. I think more bad things than good things so have happened, at least for me anyway. But hopefully one day in the future, once this whole COVID thing blows over, I will be able to get it even more, upload more. And who knows, maybe do some more adventures, something that I've been wanting to do this year. And of course, mind you, we did, but not as much as I would have liked. But uh, 2022, I'm not going to promise anything, but my hope for 2022 is that the coronavirus goes away, hopefully by the summer months next year. And hopefully, cross your fingers, hopefully we can get back to our normal lives and move on from this whole coronavirus situation. And that's pretty much all I can say. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to finish my walk. This is Patches84 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully, hopefully... 
better things to come. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want to thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell. This is Patches84 signing off, and we'll see you guys next time.